Good morning and welcome to day two of our cocoon and butterfly cardigan sew along. Today we'll be discussing about the fabric options, the fabric that is um, suited for this pattern. You can see in the um, uh, description of the pattern that it is drafted for knits, so do not avoid, uh, do not use wovens with it. Uh, the knits that you'll be using need to have a minimum of 20% stretch, which is a fairly standard uh, uh, minimal stretch for knits. So the variety of fabrics you can use for this uh, cardigan is huge. Like it, it can go from uh, chilly, uh, windy summer nights to comfy uh, late fall winter uh, days. Uh, snuggly fabric. So you have a big variety uh, of options um, when it comes to, to this fabric. So for, uh, for the sew along I'm going to be using this French Terry that I have from Raspberry Creek Fabric. Raspberry Creek Fabric is also the sponsor of the sew along so two, our two lucky winners will each get uh, gift certificates from, uh, from RCF. And uh, I'll be featuring their fabric uh, in, uh, in this sew along. A French terry has a loopy side on one side and a smooth side on the other. Look how pretty is this mint and um, pin dots. Pin dots are super in right now. So this is what I'll be using for mine, for the main part at least. I, uh, I'm not sure about, uh, about the bands yet. I need to, to check the stretch first. So. This is the um, French Terry, which is a great option. Rayon French Terry is also a good option. Rayon French Terry is um, drapier. This is more stable. See, it doesn't have many folds. It's more stable than Rayon French Terry. Rayon French Terry is drapier, but, and that's also a great option. Another option for this pattern would be, of course, a sweater knit. This is a brushed sweater knit. Uh, super soft. I think I got from Walmart in their clearance sections. Like you know when they were selling the the bolts for five yards for two dollars or three dollars, and it's so soft and so comfy, and it's uh, smooth on one side and it's brushed on the other side. It's pretty cute. Uh, so this is a great option. Uh, another option you could use for this is a uh, double brush poly or a single brush poly. I believe this is a single brush poly. I think this one I got from LA Fashion District. Uh, it's thin obviously so it's a light, it will make a very light cardigan. Uh, the only thing is that uh, this is a single brush I think. If you're using a double brush poly keep in mind that uh, the brushing will tend to make staticky and cling to your your clothes. So if that's something you can you can survive with go for it, no problem, but I do know that that tends to, to cling because of static. So that's another option. And my second favorite option because of where I live, and I've done so many cocoons already in this, is um, a bamboo lycra, which is my fabric for everything, <laughs> my main love. So this is a bamboo lycra from the Style Magnolia. But any bamboo lycra would, would work. Bamboo spandex. Uh, it's breezy, it's soft. I use it for my every evening that it's a little chilly and a little windy. I love it. Like not just for dressing, but for very lightweight cardigans too. And another option would be uh, rayon spandex. Rayon spandex is what I call like the budget friendly bamboo. <laughs> Although it's a totally different base, rayon is a different base than bamboo, they have a slightly similar feel, uh, different quality for sure, but if you're on a budget, rayon spandex is a great alternative to bamboo, and so that would work too for a light uh, summery sweater. So for winter, as winter as we can get, look, right now it's actually 55 degrees, so it's pretty cold even in Florida sometimes. So this uh, sweater knit will be the perfect choice for this time of the year here. Um, for the bands, uh, I do recommend using uh, fabric with, uh, with a great stretch and great recovery for the uh, neck, but it goes all around the band. 
uh, fabric like cotton lycra, something with great recovery would work. Um, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to have to test this one and see if I like it before I cut the bands because it may not have the recovery that I want. Well, we'll have to see. Um, so you need something with good recovery, uh, including for the cuffs, if you're using the cuffs option. I'm probably going to do the hemmed um, sleeves instead of the cuff, so I don't need the band for that, but I do need the band for the for all around. So uh, for that you would need um, fab uh, fabrics with great with great stretch, uh, great recovery. You you can get away, especially for the kids sizes with this. So it's not the end of the world. I've done. Um, I have actually. Uh, cocoon made with uh, French terry and French terry bands and, and, and it's fine so we you know my uh, my fa one of my favorite words when it comes to sewing is flexibility so uh, um, and I'm not gonna come and check your bands I promise so this is uh, all about the fabrics that uh, are um, great options for this uh, this pattern uh, what you have left to do today is use your pattern pieces that you cut yesterday and cut all your fabrics. Make sure you snap a picture of your day two um, progress, meaning your cut fabric, your pretty pile of fabric, so I can, uh, I can see that you've done today's step and I can also oh and ah at your fabric because <laughs> we all know we love to browse other people's fabrics. <laughs> and uh, post them in the comments of the day two photo uh, of the um, Cocoon and Butterfly Sew Along album in the Sew Along group. And I will see you back here tomorrow when we'll start sewing the cardigans. Bye!